So last year, Ms. McCarns, while we were studying the Wright Brothers, she gave us this mini museum exhibit to do, and I did mine on the serial killer, Oliver Coquet, who smashed Wilbur Wright's teeth in, and I think that motivated him to go on and work with Orville, and that's how they got started working on the airplane. My exhibit went on display at the Wright Dunbar Interpretive Center because it became a semi-finalist. The Rangers chose my exhibit as one of the finalists and I got a fully paid scholarship for a week at aviation camp at the Waco, at the Waco Air Museum. Air okay, so during air camp we made these little rockets and we launched them using the air compressors and these are made out of paper and we got to decorate them and name them and we went out into the field and launched them by where we fly the aircrafts at. And then this was to show us like how a propeller works and stuff. So we glued the paper clips on and then tied the rubber bands. And then we wind this up and let it go on a string and then we had braces. One of my favorite parts of air camp was when we got to fly in the airplane at the end of the week. Because it was cool because I had never really flown in an airplane like that before, like a small one. So then we got to put on the helmets and stuff, and then we could talk to each other while we were up there. And then at the end of the week, there was a special ceremony that we got to graduate from aviation camp, and everyone was there. Miss McCarns taught me a lot about aviation and innovation by teaching us all about the Wright brothers and how they created the airplane. Miss McCarns taught us innovation when she taught us about the Wright brothers and what the steps he used to build the plane. Mrs. McCarns taught us about innovation when she taught us about all the great inventions that came from Dayton and I just really learned that Dayton is really underrated and that we should just have more fame for like all the inventions and things that go on in Dayton. When I hear innovation, I think of Dayton, Ohio. Mrs. McCarns taught me about the ingenuity and genius of past inventors born and raised here in Dayton, Ohio.